horrible, man. It really is. Uh, prostitutes walk, walking on the street, drug transactions, broke that light. Drugs everywhere. It's bad, man. This is a bad place. I'm sick of people. It's hell. It's a constant battle, chase. Um, it's, it's not home. I know drugs are everywhere, even in suburbs, but you'll, you'll see it face to face, like towards your eyes out here. Drugs, prostitution, murders. Salt Avenue is probably, the best word to describe it is one of the most challenged street sections I think we have in the city. It looks like just everybody has forgotten about it, like nobody cares about it anymore. I just turned 30. I got raped on my birthday. <laughs> well, I was sleeping outside. And I woke up with a man forcing himself on me, and he wouldn't take no for an answer. I've been raped every year since I was three years old or molested. <laughs> I'm tired of being homeless, but I don't have any help. Well, I started off just working Sullivan. Um, I was 18. I was. I had a boyfriend who used drugs too, and he wanted to make easy money, so he showed me how to do it. I just started started wandering Sullivan ever since then and do my normal walk from Hague to Glenwood and you know uh, sometimes I'll get picked up pretty quick sometimes it'll take me a minute I'll have to walk back and forth I mean I, I, I'll take them to the alleys and have them park in discreet spots hidden behind garages to where no one can see us and I mean, I usually get 40 to $60 every time. This is the worst place I've ever been. It's more like an avenue through hell. We, we, we're jokes here. I just live it day by day. So if I plan something, I get disappointed. We all end up coming across clothes and wearing each other's clothes because You'll be sitting there and you'll fall asleep or something because you're just walking around from exhaustion and your stuff ends up getting stolen and then you end up picking up something you see and wear it because you ain't got nothing else. I don't have family or anything out here. I'm literally out here alone. No one has real friends out here. It's all money based. Once you don't have a benefit for somebody, then you no longer matter to them. The, the street has turned just, I mean, to nonsense. I mean, they need to do something about the, about the drug dealers. They really do. That's what's causing all the bullshit. Everyone here is a slave. I mean, we're all slaves to our addiction. And I'm addicted to droopies. Um Right now, Fetty. We haven't had our, we haven't got well today. It, it, really, it's the Fetty, the, the heroin, the opiates that I think really, it's like a bomb of opiates went off here, like right in the middle of the, front, of the west side. Ruined everything here. There are still a lot of very, very good people out that live in the Sullivan Avenue corridor that this is a reflection of the neighborhood that they live in and they are angered and ashamed all at the same time that that has happened and it is so prolific in front of their homes. I'm 57 years old, I've lived on the hilltop probably 45 of years and it's just gone to complete hell. I mean the drugs it's, it's just horrible. It is awful. They're frustrated, they're tired, but at the same time what we, we're trying to do and it, hopefully we're doing a little bit is bring a little bit more hope to the fact that maybe collaboratively we'll stop the decline and start to real ascend of this neighborhood. It's, it's a great historic 
neighborhood in the city of Columbus. It's time for it to come back.